Joining us now from Robert, Louisiana is BP's Chief Operating Officer, Doug Suttles. Mr. Suttles, good morning. Uh, good morning, Maggie. Happy to finally hear some good news here. I, I know that there's no way to tell for sure yet, but of the 210,000 uh, possibly more gallons of oil leaking from this well, how much do you estimate that this tube is funneling up? Well, Maggie, we're, we're starting to be able to measure the rate, and as of this morning, we think we're getting a little over 1,000 barrels a day up into the drill ship enterprise. So what is next? Because that's still not nearly enough. Well, Maggie, I know, but it is, as you just said, it is some good progress. And of course, the, this attempt is about containing the flow and keeping it from getting onto the sea. And, and it's making some progress. And what we'll continue to do over the next 24 hours is try to increase that rate and capture more and more of that flow. And later this week, hopefully before the end of the week, we'll make our next attempt to actually stop the flow. And that's going to be this option we're referring to as, uh, as top kill. And that option would uh, preserve the well, as all of the options you've tried up until now do. Is BP trying to save this well for further oil development in the future, or would you be willing to try an option that would destroy the well if it meant stopping the leak? Well, Maggie, we, we would do anything to stop this leak. And no, we're not trying to preserve this well. This well will be, uh, will be abandoned when, it, when we're finished. It'll be filled up with cement, and it will never produce. Um, our purpose here is actually to get this thing stopped, and we're, we'd do anything to do that, and we're pursuing every option that we have available to us to do that. Mr. Suttles, last night a, a survivor from the rig told 60 Minutes that they felt pressure to get this well drilled quickly and that BP skimped on safety, including, among other things, not properly addressing an accident involving the blowout preventer. No one was available to comment on that story last night, so I want to give you the opportunity to do so now. You know, Maggie, I, I think I, I've said many times that, you know, all I've done since two hours after this incident began is work on the response. There, <clears throat> there are a lot of people working on investigations, and I know they'll find out what, what happened here. I know they'll find out what went wrong, and I know they'll recommend changes. But, but my focus, and I think what everyone in this region wants me to do, is figure out how to f stop this flow and actually how to minimize the impact that's occurring out there. But if someone were to allege that BP skimped on safety to get this well finished quicker, would that be not true? You know, Maggie, I, like I say, it's just, I think we should actually let the investigations finish up. We should let them find what they find. Um, there's a lot of those going on. The government's got several of those. We have our own. And I'm confident they'll get to the bottom of this, and we need to let them do that. In the meantime, we need to figure out how to get this thing stopped, how do we capture as much of that oil offshore, and how do we minimize the shoreline impacts. And that's what I'm focused on. All right. Well, good luck with that. Uh, thank you for your time. Doug Settles, thank you. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.